a montage of traditional mass media, social media, bombarding us with sounds, images, and predictions of the strongest El Nino in a hundred years, the Godzilla of El Ninos, some have said. This image shows we're entering the strong category and likely to peak in the very strong or high levels by late fall. NOAA and European models suggesting with near certainty El Nino will be record-breaking, though the old adage, the higher you go, the harder you fall, will play out. As El Nino collapses in 2016, Weather Trends 360 is predicting a strong La Nina winter next year in 2016-17 and a return to frigid conditions and snowmageddon. So, what is El Nino? It's an equatorial Pacific Ocean cycle of warmer than average temperatures which alters the typical global circulation patterns and the jet stream. A La Nina pattern would typically follow an El Nino with cooler than normal water temperatures. In this graphic you can clearly see the red-orange colors off the coast of northern South America signifying warmer than normal water temps, ergo El Nino. So, what does this mean for the next 18 months? Good thing WT360's core business is year ahead forecasting by week for temperatures, precipitation, and now for 6.4 million locations. We cover every 10 miles of Earth for over 100 Fortune 1000 companies. This map shows the dramatic changes in our temperature forecast for the November 2015 to March 2016 time frame. We know you want your own backyard forecast, but unfortunately, that's what our clients pay tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars for each year. If you need week-by-week -week details, you do have some options. Download our free WT360 Lite app or the Pro version for 99 cents. That one has no ads. Another option if you're a small business or farmer is to subscribe to our small business plan for $299 a year for year ahead forecast for your location by zip code. For more information, go to WT360.com. And so, without further ado, let's take a look at our predictions. We expect the worst of this winter to shift into Europe and Asia this year with cold and snow. In the U.S., we expect overall national temperatures to trend the second warmest in the last 14 and the warmest in four years. This kind of El Nino can bring record winter warmth to much of the U.S., except the Southwest, where frequent rain and cloud cover keeps temps cooler. A look at the past few winters, week by week. We see the 2013-14 winter was by far the worst of the past 37 years. Nationally, there were 13 weeks where the weekly national temperature was below 32 for 260 major cities across the U.S. While last winter, 2014-15, had some brutally cold weather for a few weeks in mid-Feb and March, there were only 10 weeks with the nation trending below 32, and overall temps were much warmer for the nation. This winter, we only expect eight weeks nationally that will average below 32 for the nation as a whole, and national temps 1.1 degree warmer than average, making this the warmest winter in four years. When it comes to rain, it's a no-brainer that the rains will come as strong thunderstorms in the equatorial Pacific Ocean, pushed along a subtropical jet stream bringing heavy rain to the southwest U.S. and Florida. You know you'd love a zoomed version of this map, but those are reserved for our small business and enterprise clients. Hopefully you'll get the idea that rainfall is substantial in the western U.S. where it's so badly needed. The dark purple areas are where rainfall will be over 30 inches or 762 millimeters for the November 2015-March 2016 period. This chart shows the national total rainfall trends with the second wettest November 2015, March 2016 period in 18 years and the wettest in six years overall. In California, meanwhile, some are referring to the strong El Nino as the great wet hope, and it's looking good. The Golden State will get rain, and potentially a lot of rain. The better, as the drought cycle resumes later in 2016, with 10 plus more years of predominantly drought conditions. So let's hope El Nino brings at least 12 months of relief before the pain returns in 2016 and beyond. WT360 is currently forecasting the second wettest winter in 10 years for California, but very likely goes even higher 
and more similar to the El Nino powerhouse of 1997-98, which brought bountiful rain, but also mudslides and flooding. And for our snow lovers, how much snow will you get? Our paying clients get more specificity, but we can share some high-level trends with you to keep you happy. This chart shows that strong, and in this case, very strong El Ninos are not your friend if you love snow in the eastern two-thirds of the country. One caveat, however, while the frequency of snow events and overall snow totals in the northern plains, Midwest, Ohio Valley and East Coast, and even southern New England will trend below average, the threat for one big nor'easter snowstorm is possible, like back in 1983. Overall, we do think most snow lovers in the east will be disappointed. If you love snow, though, consider Lake Tahoe, California, and other southwest resorts. The one concern there is, with strong El Ninos, we get a ton of rain out west, but it pushes the snow levels pretty high in light of how warm the ocean temps are off the west coast, which could mean rain could fall instead of snow in some instances, even at elevations near 6,000 feet, like Lake Tahoe. The northeast locations are likely to see 50% less snowfall than last year, below average though, but could jump to near average if we get one big nor'easter, but most precip will be rain or ice. One benefit of a strong El Nino is a continuation of the nine plus year trend without a major cat three to five hurricane impact in the US. El Ninos create strong upper level wind shear, which simply suppresses activity in the Atlantic basin. But even before this El Nino, the Atlantic was in a 45 year minimum cycle, which could change in 2016. And so, without further ado, here are the top WT360 predictions for the year ahead. El Nino will reach record strong levels by November 2015 and remain in the strong category throughout the entire winter season. This winter will be the warmest in four years and the second warmest in 14 years with above to much above average national temperatures. National rainfall will be the second wettest in 18 years and the wettest in six years. California will get major drought relief with the second wettest season in 10 years and the wettest in five years. Mudslides and houses falling off the cliffs in California will be the norm and likely shown on national TV as these images could be commonplace as the Golden State gets some impressive storms, but at what cost? National snowfall will be the least in four years, trending 15% below average and 7% less than last year. And the Midwest and Northeast will have 50% less snow than last year, with the frequency of snow events down 65 to 70%, but very possible all the snow comes in one major nor'easter, and that's a maybe. A major ice storm is likely in the Northeast and New England into Southeast Canada. Your energy bill this winter will be 25 to 50% less than last year and the least in four years in the eastern half of the U.S. Natural gas prices will remain flat, if not fall, once again to near record low levels. Cold beverage sales up 5% this winter, down 6% for hot beverages versus last year. Coat sales down 15% this winter, but restaurant sales up 7% with much higher store traffic with the fewest winter traffic disruptions in four years. Europe and the UK will get pummeled in snow and cold. A severe tornado outbreak is possible in Florida at some point this winter. The 2016 Atlantic hurricane season will be much more active with very likely the first major Cat 3 landfalling hurricane in over 10 years. The hurricane drought will finally end. Florida will be the biggest threat. A moderate to severe drought will encompass a large area from Montana to Indiana into the middle Atlantic states by summer of 2016. Corn prices will soar to 650 plus in the summer of 2016. Now we've nailed the corn price a year ahead the past four years, so go long on corn. Q4 2015 and Q1 2016, U.S. GDP will get a 2% bounce due to the warmer weather, despite billions in damage to homes and infrastructure out west. Winter 2016-17 will be epic across much of the northern hemisphere with cold and snow as a major La Nina develops and the 30-year PDO plummets back into a cold phase. And there you have it. Thanks for watching our El Nino forecast special. For more information on how weather trends can help you, go to WT360.com for more information, as well as customized plans for businesses of all sizes. 
And please go to our Facebook page for daily weather discussions with our CEO, Captain Bill Kirk, and some lighthearted banter with our nearly 60,000 followers.